Hello you giggling grapefruits, Jim Sterling here, and this is Retention. Uh, this is a game that is about a person who kept running through his life, never looking back at the past. Uh, he rarely slept, in case you were wondering. And even with 24 hours in a day, it was not enough for him. So once, right, once during a trip he gets into trouble, and now he's lying on the cold ground buried beneath his bicycling. Uh, slides of various moments fly through his head, as naturally they do whenever you get trapped under a bicycle. Uh, we wonder, of course, whether or not his memories will return, or if he can stand up ever again uh, and we're gonna help him out uh, we've got about 630 beats of the heart to restore his past um, again uh, that's a scientific standard the heart beats 630 times and if you can't remember what happened to you after you fell off a bike uh, you never will uh, that's how medicine works there was an episode of dr quinn medicine woman uh, that featured this very plot so let's go right to it shall we Move between slides, do a mouse and a thingy thing. Right. Click the photo to start. Gotcha. Okay. So. Okay. It's a bicycle. Um, ferrets, ski. Flags, men. Um, ferrets, they're cute. Friendship. Memo. Uh, okay. That happened. Uh, boat, fishing, beach. Beach, obviously. Touch the water. Are you telling me to do that, or is that just a, a thing? No. 70. Statue sitting on a thing, people sitting on a thing, bench of reconciliation. I... It's just clicking on photos. Opera singer, okay. What happens if we click on 70 then? Oh. 75. Oh, that's just the other stuff. 73. Uh... This old bastard. An interesting aging man. 76, that, the remains of the past, 77, record idiot, hiding, I do not know what this is, uh, enigmatic monument, is it a snake, um, so at this point I should, uh, mention that this has mostly negative reviews on Steam. Um, it's just different cameras. We'll go with this pretentious looking git. Uh, the work of a professional. Okay. Here at 69. It's various stuffed animals and we'll go with the smoking pig thing. Plush dandy. Okay. Here we are at 68, look, record. At home you can always listen to your favourite music. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, alright mate. That, I, that, 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 that. Right. Cats, lying down cat, cat's holiday, hiding from the mob. I... How do you get trapped under a bicycle? Unless this fella is like, is like Mr. Glass from Unbreakable, I don't see how falling off a bicycle is going to present much of an issue. Lift the bicycle, get up, walk to the nearest pub, have a drink, and then be more fucking careful. Egyptian papyrus. So... That's what that looks like. 
Back then, sometimes taking photos was too expensive for any one person. Alright. We're at the end of that. These idiots. That jerk. That. This. Them. Him. That. Uh, gas mask lamp. Bubbles. Experimenting with taste. Is that what this game is doing? Dog. I mean, I'm just clicking the photographs. Person, close inside. They grow inside. These uh, ladies in their evening garb. Heidi Cat, kitten scratching behind the ear. View from the ground up, you see. Uh, building reminds me of Erith. Some walls rarely see the sun. Okay. Field. Walking people. Sitting girl. Oh, almost missed 24. I don't want to miss 24 because there's this woman praying to a dog. Not playing with the dog, praying with the dog. Uh, there we are. It's Patrick Kleppock having a think. Graffiti. Having a bit of a lean on a car. We've done that one. We ain't done that one. All this bird jerk, turkey idiot, fool. Okay, I've done this because they got the little plus, so we know we've done that. Now we've done that one, and we've done this one, because Max always had a thirst for knowledge. Uh, a belated bouquet of flowers. That. I mean, I'm struggling to even make my sarcastic relaying of what I'm seeing entertaining, if you haven't worked it out. I mean, some would say I struggle to make anything entertaining, but this is providing a particular challenge. But we are walking on a summer promenade, so that's alright. This, none of this matters. That's, that's an awful photo. I suppose, if you've got any 3D glasses on your desk, pop them on now. Quickly though, because I'm clicking on something else in a second. I'm clicking on this horse. This horse's ass. And, let's see, all of these cakes are shit. I guess that's the least shit one. Uh, cityscapes. And they got nothing on this big bowl. Dinner by candlelight. Bit of smoke. Bit of a cat. Bit of billiards. We've done that one, say. We ain't done this one. What? Sepia at a grayscale. What's the fucking point? I'll go for the pink one, please. Favourite colour, fla favourite flower. I thought they were crocuses, but uh, on reflection... No, they're not crocuses. I wasn't even thinking crocuses. What are those ones? The ones that you'd squeeze and they looked like they had little mouths. Dragon something we used to call them when we were kids. I don't know, anyway. I'm thinking about flowers when I should be clicking on number 55. And clicking on this beetle. So... Well, that was a beetle that you can have a think about. We'll go uh, Guitar Billy here. And then here's Leg Susan. That's her name. Uh, we've done 58. 59 we haven't done. Shitty drawing. Uh, surprised Cat. That's not a cat. Is it a cat? No, that's... It's a glancing toy. So... Card person. Any of this will do. Look, fucking jigsaw puzzle. 63. Turn away. Opera singer. We've done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. Oh, not done that one. Look, here's a cat-faced moron. Yeah, that'll do. And now 79. Here's Gleck Magazine. 
click on this. Destruction is always easier than creation. Unless you're doing a slideshow masquerading as a video game. That piece of shit. This load of crap. This bucket of turds. This pocket full of piss. Oh, future. Okay. Well, then what? Have I done everything? I feel like I've done everything. Is there one I've missed? Did I click on all the pictures? How... How much is this? 84 cents. What have we got here? I bought it for the trading cards, all for the trading cards. The game is in the simplest form of picture book that allows you to choose your own adventure except the best adventure is skewed and obfuscated. In reality though, there is no coherent plot. No hooks to go off of, and simply nothing to really tell you anything about it. Point and click adventure game without the adventure, and the point and click. I'm just reading the reviews now. Um, there's no plot, no gameplay, no feedback. It delivers a message at the end. I didn't even get that. Ten minute game that does not have to be awful. This one deserves that label. All right. One of those rare instances where I wish I had done as the negative reviews had suggested and not bought the game. What's this? Protect oh, we've got a dictionary definition for a review here. Uh, we've got a learned one in uh, RJM uh, MacReady. So it should be RJ MacReady. Uh, pretentious, they did there. Uh, it's not even a game, you just click through a bunch of pictures and that's it. Just wanted to make sure that I'm, I was playing the game correctly. Beautifully frames the essence of both Microsoft PowerPoint and the nihilistic existence of office workers everywhere and combines this with the self-hatred and loathing by an uninspired emo Instagram worshipping teenager 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, yeah, this is terrible. No one should pay money for it. Isn't a game, it is an art. It's a slideshow with bad music. Uh, I'd say the soundtrack was the highlight. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't put it on the iPod. Then again, I don't uh, use an iPod. Uh, so, I use my phone for everything, and it's not an iPhone, it's an Android, thank you very much. Um, not that I'm one of those Android people, I just got an Android. You know, what are you going to do, send me to the phone police? I don't think so. Strange pictures conceal the ideas of the artist. It's a caption left under one of retention still frames, like a subtle acknowledgement that its developer knew the experience they were creating was likely going to have trouble communicating to its audience the ideas and emotions hidden underneath its disorganised film reel. Shift it, okay, he goes on and on and on. Uh, this is more like it. Briss played here. What the fuck? I thought... Yeah, I'm going to assume that's fuck. I thought there couldn't be a game worse than the infamous Bad Rats. Give it a try if you're into suicidal thoughts. Then I played this. Is this even a game? This raises some big questions. Why the fuck did Steam let this onto the store and who's in charge of it? Oy. So that was that review. There's this Darwin the Piercer. I bought this game using 84 cents I had in my Steam wallet from selling trading cards. Thankfully I didn't spend my own money on this. I will say that the best part about this game is all of the complaining and the negative reviews. Some of it is downright hilarious. As for the game itself, I'm glad I didn't pay for it with my own money. It really isn't a game. It doesn't even qualify as an interactive graphical experience. Totally not recommended. So there's that. Uh, ooh, a game that you click pictures. I want to play this game for the rest of my life. Hashtag sarcastic opening, obviously sarcastic. No one wants to play a game that all you do is click pictures, unless you're my mum. <laughs> Thank you, Mortality Sucks. Uh, I think that'll do. Um, we've more or less got 15 fucking minutes out of this trash. Well, the recording says 1453, 1454, 55, 56, 57, 58... 59. Right, I'm out of here.